there are a few smaller films that Tom has been busy beavering and seeing, and they've been pretty good, Tom. You saw uh, Bones and All and The Menu. Um, Did I? Yes. Oh, they were you probably quite since. good. You slept since then, Kaz. <laughs> they were pretty good. Uh, they were you... both good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know which one to talk about first. I guess I'll talk about the menu first because I think the menu is probably it it it's really dumb to talk about it in relative terms, but the weaker of the two. It's still really good. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. uh, the menu's great. It's um it, it's a vehicle for Anya Taylor Anya Taylor Joy, Nicholas Holt, and Ray Fiennes to just do some like dinner theater. Uh, and that's that's pretty much all it is. It, it's a uh, it's a, a send up of fine dining crossed with uh, a sort of, I don't want to spoil it, but there is a horror twist to it. Um, and and it's really fun and it's really funny. And it all of the sorts of complaints to level at it revolve around it being what it is. So essentially it's a satire of um the deification of dining i suppose and of celebrity chefs um and it just takes pot shots at the upper classes and the super rich and that's all it does but it does it really really well the script is really sharp there are some really dark and unexpected turns to it that are quite pleasing pleasing <laughs> i'm a psychopath um madman <laughs> and it it rattles along really well it it does exactly what you would expect it to and it does it really efficiently um it looks great it uh sounds great it's just i uh, thoroughly recommend go and go and see it at the cinema if big blockbusters are not your thing this is a great thing to go and see um yeah excellent sounds like the grand I... booth for the it, 21st century it, it does sound great it, i have to say it reminds me of the ben and holly episodes <laughs> where where um they have like these posh this posh king and queen come round and nanny plum has to make a really posh dinner and she makes this amazing stew and then captures just the steam from it and puts the steam in bowls and gives it to them and they all sit around a table talking about how amazing the steam is. And then eventually they realize it's not very filling. And uh, and they all go and eat the stew in the kitchen afterwards. I cannot wait for your Ben and Holly spin-off podcast. <laughs> I love Ben and Holly. <laughs> it does, does sound really good. I've been looking forward to the menu for ages. I've been looking forward to both both of these. Both the menu and Bones and all and all have been on my radar. Yeah. It's it uh, yeah it's really good. Um, essentially, um, Anya Taylor Joy is the date of Nicholas Holt, who is a real foodie and has booked into the restaurant of this super high level Michelin starred chef. And she's not into it, but he's super into it. Um, and as the meal progresses, they do a really fun thing, which is like they combine. Um, the like tropes of cooking shows so they they do really like graceful pans around the food with little subtitles telling you exactly what's <laughs> in it you know a, a, a foam of uh you know whatever the ingredient was i can't remember <laughs> anyway it it's really good um and it is all uh taking the piss out of that sort of thing until it becomes really gruesome and dark and then it becomes a bit like it, it broadens its scope a bit, not just to the super rich, but also to um, people who like base their identities around what other people think, and and that works. It's it's really uh, really enjoyable. So yeah, do they stuff and eat Greg Wallace at all? <laughs> that would be. It's saving it for the sequel. Surely, saving no. it for the sequel. Yeah, I've seen I'm... Greg Wallace since. I think he's okay. <laughs> 